Hello, my name is Jimmy Vegas and welcome to this, the third in a series of video tutorials on how to create a visual city in Unity 5. Okay, so up to now uh, we've learned how to put in a few different objects, texture some objects, uh, put in our first person character, uh, duplicate things and just generally the simplicity of the screens surrounding our main scene. Okay, so in this episode, we're going to play around with uh, some snap settings. Uh, we're going to play around with actually putting some shop looking like shops on here, some buildings, and just generally see where we go and how we can make it look. Okay, so the first thing to do, let's click on this building just here. So currently you can see that this is split into what we want as two separate shops. And here you can see two separate shops. So first thing, down here in your asset window on textures, right click on your textures folder, create and create a new folder. Well, let's call this subfolder ground textures. And I'm going to move the asphalt and the sidewalk texture into that folder. In this texture folder as well, right click, create, new folder. We'll call this one shop face textures. So all our shops uh, that we import into Unity we'll put just in here. It kind of keeps our asset window tidy. We don't want it messy with textures, scripts, and materials everywhere. It's, it's just not good practice that way. Okay, so firstly, go into your new shop face textures folder. And I'm just going to import this one, shop 001. Now, as I say in every tutorial, um, all the assets we use are free and available on our website. Uh, by all means, you can look for any particular uh, texture you want to use if you don't want to use these ones but uh, there, like I say there is a link in the description in this video to our website where you can get them for free. Okay so all you need to do simply drag and drop this texture straight onto an object and you'll notice that the object is kind of well every single side of the object has this particular texture on. So if we were to press play You can see that although it does have every single side as the texture, it does seem fairly reasonable from the front view that it looks like a shop, a shop called Jimmy's, might I add. Okay, so the next thing to do is back into our shop face, and I'm going to import the second shop. So I'm going to take that straight into Unity. Wait for a second for it to import, and there we go. So, l generally looking at it, you can tell that this particular shop appears wider, and this particular one appears taller. However, both our objects here, which we consider shops, are the same size. I think the same size, anyway. Let's check. 10, 5, 10. 10, 5, 10. Yes. So, firstly, Let's drag this texture straight onto this object. Now if we zoom in, mm, it doesn't quite look right. I'm not happy with how that looks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the size. So the scale on, let's say, the y-axis, I'm going to now change that to, let's say, 7. So it appears taller. Now if we were to hold control and drag up, it's not quite how I like it. It won't quite match on the floor. So let's change our snap settings. So let's bring the camera down so we can level it with the floor and you can see there is a gap there. So go to edit and down here snap settings. Now the snap settings are currently set to 0 0.25. Usually when you start it up you should have them all set. To one and a snap setting is generally when you hold control 
and pull on the arrows, that's a snap. One movement is one snap. So if we were to set this as, for example, let's set them all to three, you'll see that a snap becomes much bigger. So I'm going to set it back to zero. In fact, I'll set it to 0 0.5 on all of them. So we move the snap settings in half increments. So if we have a look, it does look like it is intersecting uh, the ground slightly, whereas this shop is lying on the ground perfectly. So like I say, when you start your snap settings, you'll more than likely have it set as 1. So for now, let's set it to 0 0.25. OK. So now let's snap this particular building up on to be level with our ground. There. So that's now level with our ground. So we have two shops. We have two very different shops. One's uh, a bit longer, one's a bit higher. However, they look a bit boring. So we need to put kind of um, extensions on top to make it look more like um, a building. So, next thing to do in your textures window, sorry, your textures folder again, right click, create, and go to a folder again. And we'll call this one Building Textures. Let's go into Building Textures and let's import this background 002 texture. And let's place it just in there. Okay, so next thing we need to do is we can either create a new object by going Game Object, 3D Object cube. It's a bit fiddly now, getting it just right. So we'll do it an even quicker way. So if we delete that, let's start with shop 001. Let's duplicate that. Automatically it will create shop 003. So let's right click and rename. Let's rename this to, uh, let's see, let's call this shop 001 underscore layer 001 and now drag and drop that onto shop 001 at this point you should up here have the figures exactly the same as this position should be all three zeros rotation should also be all three zeros and scale should be one 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 if we go to this the scale does say 10 5 10 However, this says 111. The reason the scale is 111 is because it is basically one size of everything that is above it. So it is one size of one of these shop 001s. So what we need to do is let's go to edit, snap settings, and let's change our snap settings back to 1 on X, Y, and Z. So shop 001, layer 001. Hold control and let's drag above our shop to about there so as it fits on top perfectly. Now, rather than have two shops on top of each other, which looks stupid if I'm honest, you guessed it, drag and drop this background onto there. So now you can see it does start to look a little bit more like a building. Let's change the size of it so as it looks a bit better, not as squashed, not as flat. So let's change the scale. Let's change on the Y. So let's change this to, let's say 1.5, about there. So now hold control and let's drag up. And as you can see, we need to change our snap settings once again because one is too much. So to be safe, Let's change our settings to 0.25. I may start referring to 0.25 as a quarter, just so I don't have to keep saying 0.25. So as a standard, we set it to what I will now call a quarter. So slowly drag down to about there, so as it fits on just nicely on the top of our building. 
OK, next we'll work on this one here. So shop 002, let's control D to duplicate and let's pull up to about there. And let's drag and drop our texture on to about there. OK, that looks, mm, it looks OK. Let's play around with it a little more. Let's create, uh, let's rename this first of all. So this one is shop. 002 underscore layer 001 and let's drag and drop that onto shop 002 and we should we change the size let's change this to 1.1 is that maybe 1.25 no I don't, I don't think um, I think we'll keep it as it is just for now so let's duplicate that and let's drag it up there. Let's close that in the hierarchy. OK, so now we have two full buildings. So let's press play. OK, so that looks OK. Hmm. Yeah, I think that looks OK for now. For the visual style that we're going for, I think that looks that looks okay. Okay, so the reason that we have actually put these layers, as we'll call them, under shop, for example, 002 or 001, is it makes things much easier in the long run. The reason I say that is because if you select, let's say, uh, let's say shop 002. Now, although we don't need to select these ones here, the layers, if we just stick to shop 002, press Ctrl D to duplicate, we don't actually duplicate just shop 002, we duplicate everything else inside. So I'm going to put the snap settings back to 1. And I'm now going to drag what we now have called shop 003. You'll notice it drags everything that was beneath there. So it's duplicated three items, even though we've only pressed Control D to duplicate just once. OK, so the general kind of look of the city with two shops isn't quite what we're going for. So, I mean, in the next tutorial, there'll be plenty of different shop face windows that we can add in, different building textures, uh, generally different things. OK, so for now, uh, I'm going to leave shop 003 as it is, because, like I say, next episode, we'll replace this shop window with a different shop, as you don't generally see the same shop like this on a high street, unless it's Starbucks or McDonald's. OK, so the last thing we're going to do is we're going to make a quick distant building. So when you see buildings like in the distance, they're not really full buildings. They're just there for visual purposes. We're going to do that with this particular texture that we've imported. So to do that, I'm actually going to Game Object, 3D Object, and Cube. And I'll set the position to 0, 0, 0. So we have it in the center of our map there. Uh, in the hierarchy, I'm going to Game Object, 3D Object, sorry, not 3D Object, um, Create Empty, my apologies. Uh, right click, rename, and we'll call this Background Buildings. So we'll drag this cube into Background Buildings. Right click, rename, and we'll call this back tower 001. So now we just need to put this cube into a position where we feel comfortable it would look okay as a background tower. So let's set uh, the scale, let's see, let's um, let's set this as 10 I think, I think 10 is good. Uh, we'll set the Z to 10. Uh, We'll set the Y to, uh, let's see, 
let's set this to a nice round 15 figure. I think 15 seems pretty decent. So as you can see, uh, we can see it, just drag and drop texture. Uh, now it's just a case of moving the building outwards, across, and drag it upwards. Okay, so this is now, uh, this looks, it's in the background. We can see it, so let's move it over here. Uh, about there I'll do. So let's duplicate this and let's drag it up. Uh, about there should do. Uh, we press play and we can see if we just move along this way a little. We can see just in the background it starts to appear. It seems a little small at the moment. So the best thing for us to do is um, let's extend our tower a little more. So we stop. So let's duplicate once again. And let's pull it upwards. So now our tower appears taller. So I press play and have a look. We move it this way and we can see that our tower does appear taller and definitely appears as a background tower. So let's quickly rename these just here. Uh, we'll call this back, uh, back tower one underscore two. Uh, we'll call the next one uh, back tower zero zero one underscore uh, three. So now we just drag and drop them onto our back tower zero zero one. In the future, it just enables us to uh, duplicate one building rather than duplicate several buildings. It makes things much easier. Now you'll notice down here there is some blank space. It's not resting on any ground or anything. We don't need to worry too much as um, you won't see this bit when we play the game. It'll be hidden and obscured by the other buildings. So let's collapse that. So uh, we'll leave the tutorial there for now. Uh, we've learned a few different things here. We've added some textures on there. We've expanded our city a little more. Uh, next time we'll be looking at putting in maybe a subway uh, entrance, either here or maybe this side. Uh, we'll extend some more buildings and we'll add more textures onto our shops. So that's the end of this tutorial. Um, I hope it was educational for you and I do hope to see you in the next tutorial. Thanks very much for watching.